In 1995, Vijay Singh came this close to birdieing 18 to win. One tap in later, Singh and Doug Mark faced off in a playoff, which was perfect for Vijay. By sinking a birdie putt on the third extra hole, Singh captured his third career title and became the first player to win twice in a playoff at Westchester. Greg Norman just birdied 17 and 18, shoots 64. And right now he is the outright leader at Thank you. minus Thank you eight. State. By one over Ballesteros and Ken Green. Frost at six, Elkington and Shambly follow. Let's go out now to 15. So many of the big names are here this week because it's a good course to prepare for next week's U.S. Open. Like this shot. Thick, green side, rough. This was moments ago. Beautifully executed by David Frost. Now live, Seven has seen the scoreboard change. He knows he is one back of Norman. For the tie. He well knows he has 18 ahead. Thank you. Sevy stays at seven under. Watching from the 15th fairway as Sevy and Frost made par, Ken Green now trailing by a shot. He prepares for his second into the par four. Trying to climb, the plateau will come back down. Green left with 25 feet for birdie. There's Seve up at 16, Gary. Seve is now looking at this bunker shot. He's got a good 50, 60 feet. Shark, are you up there on 18? Yeah, Gary. Trying How to get you? out of the hordes of people down below? Uh, yes, yes. I uh, enjoyed today. I wish it didn't stop, actually. It may not stop yet, but uh, I was playing well except for my last tee shot, so um, it was a fun day. Good bit of work there in 17, 18. Uh, did yeah. you think, are you, were you shooting at a number at that point? I think a 9 under would definitely win it. I knew 8 under would be a number to be around and have a chance to win it, so uh, it, it looks that way now. This guy's pretty good from this distance, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's one of the best. Looks like the shot was buried there. But he's played a pretty good looking shot. That's about eight, nine feet underneath the flight stick. A putt that is uphill and a break right to left. And let's go to 15. Well, this is uh, Ken Green for birdie. And Greg, this is Jim Nance at 15. You were on the lower level yourself just uh, about an hour ago. Same angle. Well, this is very much straight up the hill. And, uh, you know, it, it's very, very slow up there, much slower than what we think, because I think there's a little bit more on that green. Uh, fool me, and I'm sure fool Ken at the same time. David Frost, two shots back of the lead. Shark, this is about the exact same putt you had, isn't it? This is, this is dead straight. Um, it's up the hill again. That, about four or five feet short of the hole. There's a very steep incline. He's hit it firmly. Frost birdie puts him at seven under. One shot behind the leader, Greg Norman. You hit a, a great putt in that hole. That ball did everything but go in the hole. Well, it sort of uh, lost a bit of speed and uh, just seemed to fall a little bit left. I didn't think it would, uh, Ken. I thought it would be a dead straight putt. And uh, obviously, uh, David hit it firm enough and straight enough. Well, he needed to make it there. Now he's got, again, his number is still eight again. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's going to be the magic number. Here's an important part for Savvy right now, and uh, especially after seeing David make his, um, you know, it's sort of uh, the, the roar of the crowd down there. You're in a little uh, swale, and it's in, it runs right through your system. Well, 16. Savvy, minus seven, one shot back. This is a difficult putt to read. Perfect. Great, great 
three right there. Following his sixth consecutive par at 15, Green's tee shot at the par 3 16th landed short of the green. This little chip shot for birdie and a share of the lead. Uh oh. Boy, we have seen some near misses and some great makes here today. Unbelievable. He has no back off. He was trying to hold that thing. I've never seen him short. Ross trailing Norman by one is in the right hand rough at the par 417. Frost has got 155 yards to the flag stick. There really is hardly a breath of breeze at the moment. Greg, when you are playing uh, mostly from the left? Uh, yeah, Ben, this one is just straight left to right. Um, it, it, it's, uh, it's deceptive because you're still going uphill a little bit, and that front bunker looks like it's all the way against the flag, and you really have a little bit more room there than what you think. And there you see how he's played it previously. Three solid pars for Frost. He needs something more than that now, and he has a nine iron. Pin placed 18 yards from the front of the green. Trying to bend that in from the right. Oh, oh dear. That is uh, not at all stellar quality by his standards. Seve's second at 17. Sand wedge. 100 yards to the flag stick. Hoisted it high, and there it stops to 16. Another short par putt, another one gutted. Green heads to the 17th tee, one shot behind Norman. David Frost trying to run the ball down and across the slope, right to left break. That is very, very good play there. Frost knows that he'll need to birdie 18 to get into a playoff. And on the tee, Ken Green decides to go with the driver after a little debate and gives it a darn good whack. Flips away the club and has it left of center. So he's going to have to contend with that bunker that you now see in your picture that protects the stick in the left front. As Seve looks over a birdie putt, this will go a little from right to left. All kinds of possibilities arise if he makes this, and he has a chance to pass Greg Norman. He will have to birdie the hole, the 18th hole, to tie Greg Norman. Seve, Green, and Frost trail Norman by one. We'll go to the 17th fairway and Ken Green's second shot. Pitching wedge for Ken Green from 125 yards. Good, safe shot in the fat of the green. Frost will go for the green in two at the par 518. Three wood. Ideally, with the hanging line, the left to right shot to use all the green and the entrance if you don't hit it perfect. It's coming straight at it. Is it enough? Oh, oh, watch out. Goodbye. That is not the place to go. Greg Norman can tell you that when he was over there the other day. Greg Norman leads at minus eight. Here is Ballesteros. He is seven, just one behind. After a long wait, now he's decided to go with the iron. Ballesteros is 260 yards. I think he played the very smart move there because he could not reach the green and the bunker was not the place to put it. 17. Ken Green comes up 
empty here. So he now has to make a birdie at the last to get into a playoff with Greg Norman. Great opportunity missed for him, and he knows it. Will there be a playoff? The conclusion of the 88 Manufacturers Hanover Westchester Classic is next on PGA Tour Classic. Now the conclusion of the 1988 Manufacturers Hanover Westchester Classic. Frost and Ken Green, both tied with Seve. The year that Ballesteros won here, he eagled 18 on the final round. He pulled it just about, I would say, about seven, eight feet left of the hole. In the deep rough behind the green, Frost needs to get this within birdie range for a chance to get into a playoff. That's, that's awful. Just tough. It just could not play it any. To get the ball within six feet would be a miracle. Frost has left himself 20 feet for birdie. Here's Ken Green. Hook a little hook ball. Hook. Yes. Bye! You only get one wish. Thank you. At the 18th green, Frost for his birdie to force a playoff. There's one. That's the first putt we have seen made from that side all day long. Almost the identical line that Frost had. A birdie and a tie and a place in the playoff. Been a long time since we've had a tournament like this. That's right. I wish it remained a long time, too. <laughs> <laughs> it will remain longer for you. He got a piece of it. The ball was moving left. Now we have three. Almost identical to where David Frost drove the ball. He's 260 yards. Doesn't take much time. He doesn't. That was a five wood. Beautiful shot. Meantime, Greg Norman has moved over to the 10th tee, getting ready. Ballesteros waiting to head over to 10. However, Playoff is determined by this putt alone. And he got a really good read from Dick Mass putt. It's a feeding putt, it's a speed putt. It'll move to his right, and at the very end, the ball will move a little bit left, almost up the hill. Well, it did exactly what Dick Mass putt did except it went by about three and a half feet the gallery be begins to move pat and there's going to be a lot of disturbance right now for that putt it's straight uphill and as firm and as solid as he is he'll take the break right out of it he's made a lot of these yeah. and, he and so there are four going to the tenth tee as the gallery follows the players from the tee at the short par four tenth Seve seems to be in the best position, landing in the bunker short of the green. Green second from the right-hand rough, bounces into the green side bunker. Frost second from the sand. The crowd loves it. That's good from there, Jim. You can see that not much visibility there of the green. Good lie, bad shot. Yes. He's in the same position, Kenny. During regulation and was just able to aim for a piece of the green and chipped it up and made his par. You told me he hit five iron knocked into just a front fringe, and that's about looks like all he has to do here. That's all he can do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to run right through. Kept it underneath the base of that tree. 
he's got all the shots to it, and he's going to have to pull one out of the bag here because this is awkward stance, awkward swing. Jason! He can do it all, Jim. He can do it all. Green needs to get his third shot close to have a chance to stay alive. I lost the tournament. I should, shouldn't have been a playoff. Uh, you know, I didn't play bad uh, today, but I didn't. I, it was my position to win, and I didn't. Ballesteros is not in for sure, nor is Frost, so Greg has taken a good look at this. Four still make, may let you go to another hole. But. And uh, what a hole awaits them next. 11 and 12, third shot for Norman. Come on, God. Come on, come on. Oh, great is that shot, any though. good? Great shot. Frost needs to make this putt to extend the playoff. David Frost made some big putts coming down the stretch, Kenny. A couple of them for pars that prevented disaster, and then he very confidently knocked it in at 18. I wouldn't be surprised here. He made a magnificent putt, 18. The first one we have seen made there all day from that position. Not to be, and the door is open for Seve. So it all will come down to one stroke. When he played at 14, and that takes a, a lot of experience, a good touch. I believe he'll make it. Seve Ballesteros, a winner in the United States for the first time since 1985. Well, when I saw Davis Frost uh, pad, uh, really helps because I thought the, the pad would break a little bit left or right. And I saw this one went straight at the hole. And then I hit a good pad and uh, definitely the ball didn't went straight in the middle, but I mean, it never looks like it was out. 11 years later, Seve was awarded the ultimate honor, induction into the World Golf Hall of Fame. This is uh, really a very special day for me to be inducted into the Hall of Fame with all these uh, superstars. It's really an honor and a privilege. Thanks for watching the 1988 Manufacturers Hanover Westchester Classic, a PGA Tour Classic.